Hi tech enthusiasts! Do you want to power up your outdoor space with multiple devices but facing the challenge with no available electricity? So today in this video, we're going to unleash the potential of solar innovation. Imagine a seamless solution where sunlight becomes your energy source. And our recommendation is a game-changing outdoor switch tailored for solar power compatibility. So you can light up your outdoor environment without the need for traditional power source. And also, if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with the solution that tailored with your specific need. So when we want to enhance outdoor environment with multiple devices, we often face with the absence of conventional electricity source in this remote location. So we seek to harness the energy of the sun to power different outdoor devices, ranging from security cameras to wireless access point. And by generating electricity on site through solar panel, individuals, businesses, and communities can offset or even eliminate their reliance on grid supply electricity, resulting in substantial cost saving over time. And to seamlessly integrate these devices, a robust outdoor switch specifically designed to support solar power is needed. Since the most common power method for outdoor switch is through a straightforward AC outlet connection. So designing a solar power system for an outdoor PoE switch involves careful consideration of power requirement, location-specific factors, and the integration of essential components. We should begin by examining the power specification of the outdoor PoE switch, and then calculate the power consumption that's needed. And also, choose a solar panel that based on the daily power consumption and the amount of sunlight available in the location and integrate a solar charge controller into the system to regulate the power flow from the solar panel to the battery bank. A 48 solar charge controller is recommended for this setup today and providing ampere capacity for a solar array. So now let's talk about our setup today. First, you should probably install the solar panel, ensuring that they're positioned to receive maximum sunlight. And then we're going to connect it to a string box. Now, a string box is a critical component in a solar power system, serving as a central hub for managing the electrical connection of solar panel and enhance safety, facilitate maintenance, and provide essential protective feature to ensure the efficient and reliable operation of the entire solar power system. As you can see, we have an air switch here and a surge protector, and it is already connected with our solar panel. And coming out, we have a cable connected to a 40A MPPT solar charge controller. It regulates the power from the solar panel to battery with an efficiency of low less than 98%. And also, it can support maximum PV input power of 1,020 watts and maximum input voltage of 100 volt. It can accept a 48 volt battery voltage since we have the 48 volt battery here. And as you can see, it is already connected to this charge controller. And we have the cable coming all the way to our A port PoE switch. Now this switch can accept 36 to 60 volt, 60 volt solar input and delivers zero carbon and uninterruptible power supply for continuous output power. It has eight PoE port, two SFP port, and a console port and deliver up to 30 watts of PoE power per port with a total power budget of 120 watts. You can see it has rubber seal all through the enclosure since this is an IP67 rated PoE switch and has a vandal resistant metal enclosure. Over here we have the heat dissipation hole so the moisture can list out from here. And the working temperature range is from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees which is excellent for outdoor application. 
and it is already connected to a fiber optic cable and an ethernet cable coming out here. We can see our wireless access point is already getting the power from the switch. And they are also already grounded as well as the string box. So that's pretty much it about our solar power system today. So thank you very much for joining us. If you like our video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And I'll see you in the next video.